Now, it is, of course, the time of year when we are all busy trying to find the perfect present for that special someone. But what about your pets? Well, they, they wake up to a stocking at the end of their basket this year. According to the animal charity Blue Cross, more than a third of owners say their little companion's gift is just as important as other essential Christmas expenses for humans, as Graeme Satchel can tell us. Are you buying your pet a present for Christmas? From festive outfits to edible Christmas cards, research from animal charities and retailers shows more and more of us are including our dogs and cats in the big day. The Christmas market in Belfast and dog owners are on the lookout for the perfect gift. This is Finley and he's 12 months old and this will be his first Christmas. He's ball mad, he's bone mad, he's just anything mad, toy mad, you know, so yes, he will definitely have to get um, a, a stocking and a few treats and a, far too much, probably more than what I'm going to be getting. Right now. I've got a Dalmatian, she's five years old and she's called Dotty. I have a horse at home and a dog and a cat. I think I'm going to buy her treats, toys, squeaky toys, teddies, anything. My horse is going to get a wee rug and I have a wee stocking with it with lots of treats that so will go inside, so like wee horse treats and all. So yeah, it's going to be very cute and my horse will love it. <laughs> oh, they're like loads of toys, especially balls. This fella, he's a different breed. He just tears them apart and he's having fun all the time. Retailers are rapidly expanding their gift range for pets from clothing to toys and treats. It really feels like it's a growing trend to see a pet as part of the family, um, include them uh, in the family traditions, whether that's the meal uh, or gifting or getting dressed up. We've even got matching um, owner and pet pyjamas and we've seen uh, searches for them increase by about 30% year on year. So we're definitely seeing people more enthusiastic about including their pets in Christmas. So whether you think this is cute or, frankly, shameful, the trend is clear. Christmas is increasingly something we want to share with our pets. Phyllis. In some places, like this shopping centre in Kent, you can even take your dog to meet Father Christmas. They get treats and gifts and a photo. It's called a Santa Paws experience. I think we'll pause it right there, don't you? Yeah, I'm not sure I'd take my dog to see Father Christmas. I don't know. It's a nice picture, though, isn't it's it? It's a great picture. It's good for the socials. Uh, it's not just viewers at home who are pampering their pets this Christmas. Is it, Sally? No, because here's my Sadie. Look at her. There oh. she's got, like, a little Christmas bow and a present on her head. I apologise to the dog immediately <laughs> for putting this on television. So, um... I think Sadie's going to get maybe more presents this year. You told me you were really slow with your Christmas present buying this year, but... Oh, not, not for Sadie. <laughs> <laughs> the family and friends can I wait. Got anything else for anyone. <laughs> but she's been overloaded. Totally, always. If you are spoiling your pet this Christmas, we'd love some more pictures. We have been talking this morning about how we might spoil our pets at Christmas. Lots of you have been in touch with festive pictures Oh, my word. <laughs> oh, Claire would have loved this sequence, I tell you. Yeah. Look at this pair. They can't wait to open their Christmas presents from Santa. Thank you for that picture. bags full of presents. A Emma, bit early, aren't they? Emma from Wales has sent this. Her horse has been getting into the festive spirit. <laughs> I, I hope Claire Balding is still watching. That's She'd a, love that. That's a reindeer, Sam. That's a reindeer. <laughs> uh, Bob oh. and Squeak, the guinea oh. pigs, are getting all set. <laughs> <laughs> for the big day. Is oh, that, I love is it. that two separate guinea pigs I or one? Is. I think that what is going on, they're wondering. Oh, look, they look delighted, don't they? <laughs> Rocco <laughs> from Gateshead. I don't think Rocco's totally convinced by his <laughs> Christmas outfit. Victoria and Elizabeth oh. from Surrey look proud as punch. I do like animals with proper names, human names. We'd love more of your pictures. Do send us any more you've got of your pets ready for Christmas and the treats you're getting them as their festive presents. Joining us now is vet Anna Yours clark and her beautiful Norfolk Terrier, Kirk. Morning to both of you. Hi, lovely to be here. So nice to have you here. Have you bought him anything yet? <laughs> oh, well, because he's here, I can't say what it is, but, yes, he does have a little something for Christmas. Got a little something under the tree. Give us a clue. <laughs> uh, it, it might be something for him to eat. Okay. Um, I thought it might yeah, be. Yeah, he, he does love his food, as I think we all do. <laughs> oh, 
this is quite a new thing, isn't it? People, or is it? I don't know. It, we seem to be talking about it quite a lot more. And in the shops, there are a lot more pet gifts out there. Yes, so definitely we are seeing more and more pet owners wanting um, for their, their pets to be involved with Christmas. You will still often find that they, they find it a bit overwhelming. So giving them space to themselves, and particularly if you've got pets like cats, um, it's really important that they have a space of their own that they can go to that's quieter. If you've got lots of people talking, Christmas music, that can be quite overwhelming. Hey, Kurt, we've got some friends mm -hmm. for you to see, because lots of our breakfast viewers have been sending in pictures this morning of how their pets oh. are Aww. celebrating. It's a family affair here. This is uh, Harry, the uh, very well-trained dog. They're getting into the festive <laughs> with his furry friends, <laughs> Boris and Patch the guinea pigs. Mm, I'm not sure they're that safe there. Anyway, yeah, <laughs> this is retired military working dog, Duke. He's looking forward to his first Christmas off the job with his owners, Jill and Chris, in North Yorkshire. His first He's retired cute. Christmas. Oh, look at these two. Sean from London said his chihuahuas can't wait for Christmas. Look at them. You can feel the joy coming off. Yeah, them. you can. <laughs> Maggie the from Lincolnshire. One. This is Maggie. She's all dressed up again. Look, at, do you think I, she's loving it, isn't she? She is. She's yeah, definitely yeah, loving it. Yeah. Last but certainly not least, uh, we had this from Jackie in Solihull. Sent us a picture of her pet duck, Dave, with his Christmas hat. How do you get a hat on a duck? <laughs> I am really not sure. Oh, it's tied. It's tied under his chin. A bit of elastic. <laughs> yeah, he's literally tied a little bit of string I, under his chin. Yeah, I'm getting it that on must be a bit of a challenge. Thank you both so much for coming in. Lovely to see you. Uh, Anna and Kirk, Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas, Kirk. I, I hope Santa comes, Kirk. <laughs> Licking we his have lips. A Look at Kirk. <laughs> Kirk wins this morning, wins everything.